So I'm standing outside Solent's new £28 million sport complex. Today, we're holding Varsity, the year-ending sport event against Bournemouth University. After nearly two years of planning and construction, Solent's new sport complex has finally opened its doors to students and the general public. This new sport complex contains a fully staffed 90-station gym with over 40 pieces of cardio equipment, sports halls, fitness studios and much more. Matt Bishop, Head of Sport Programming here at the University, says the new sports complex will be great for the future of Solent. Well, do you think there's positive benefits for it being, for it being built right by the uni? Absolutely. I mean, the, the whole business case um, and the reason this building is here is for the students and to provide the best possible opportunities for sports teaching and the playing of sport. And this facility 100% meets that, that brief. Has basketball always been a top priority sport for Stone University? Yeah, it has been for probably uh, 12 to 15 years. Um, we've had a big merge with a community programme three years ago um, to create Team Sonic Kestrels. Uh, we've got 11 National League teams from uh, junior programmes from under 14s all the way through to seniors. Uh, and we've got a Division 1 men's and women's team. Um, and the Division 1 men's won the National League Division 1 title this year. So the club is, is a large club, in the not just on the South Coast, but also in the UK. We're providing basketball for boys and girls, men and women, um, um, of all ages um, and abilities. Um, it's a great opportunity for the university to link with community and, and in the heart of the city centre provide an amazing opportunity through basketball. This £28 million building was help funded by the students of Sony University. So what do the students of the university actually think about the large investment in this sports complex? Because uh, I study television production technology, um, so I think some of the money could easily have been spent on some new equipment. It's great for basketball, it's great for uh, netball, it's great for futsal, having all those big bases, but then they haven't considered the little sports as well, like squash, because they haven't put squash courts in there. I think it's an investment that I think in years to come, people are going to come to the uni for sport, and if we have those facilities, then hopefully it's profitable like in the long run. Um, but at the moment it, it seems like a lot of money. Absolutely, even for students that don't exactly take sport, I think it's brilliant because it's close to the uni and then you can go on and do your course and your day as normal. Even though some students don't seem convinced, the staff are all in high spirits and the future looks bright for this new sports complex.